I want you guys to pick your own color of paper. The one I have at home today is yellow, so I'm going with that. Surprise, surprise. It's not like it's my favorite color or anything um, for my pumpkin. So this is how I draw it step by step. So my pumpkin, I'm going to make it like about this size. This is where I'm going to start it. I'm going to be cutting it out and putting it on my infinity net background after I've done the dots. So I'm just going to show you how I draw my pumpkins. There's so many ways to draw pumpkins, guys, but this is this is a way that will draw kind of like a foolproof way to draw a pumpkin. So I start, I kind of put like two small dots, like one above the other. And then you connect them kind of like in a round curved line. This is the very center. Oops. This is the very center of my pumpkin. I'm gonna do another line. I'm trying to draw light because I don't want to make any thick dark lines if I want to erase them. So then you kind of do a curved line like that. Pumpkins aren't perfect, so your lines don't have to be either. They're all bumpy and lumpy. So there you go. Just draw your first little shape. Then on this side, you come in and you do kind of another curved line like that. I made it just slightly smaller than this width of the of the top to bottom. Then I come in, I'm gonna make it even a little bit smaller because it's gonna show the cup and can kind of curving around. Pardon my sniffles. Around like that. There's my one side of my pumpkin. Then I'm gonna come in here and just do the same on this side. Why is this side harder for me? I don't know. That's weird. It's a left hand, right hand kind of thing. So there we go. There's one on this side. Notice how I turn my paper as I draw. It's easier than moving my whole body around the table. I'm going to do the same amount on this side as I did on that side. Uh, one, two, three from the center. One, two. I still have to do one more. Make it a little bit smaller, but not like crazy small. Okay, there's kind of my pumpkin that I want to draw. And then I'm going to come in and just draw the little stem. So I draw a curved line like that and a curved line up like that and then just connect it at the top. So there's my pumpkin in pencil and I'm gonna go over it in Sharpie and add my dots. So you can really create some dimension with the way you chose choose to do your dots on your pumpkin. Um, I'm gonna choose to do big dots down the center so it really looks like this part is closer to me. And then I'm gonna kind of spread them out and see where it takes me. Um, you guys, it's kind of up to you how you want your dots. If you want them totally random all over the place, you can do that. If you want the same size dots all over, you can do that as well. I think it would look really cool when we have them up all together. Okay, so this is how I draw the Yayoi Infinity Nets. You guys have these sheets. Oh my gosh, my printer ran out of ink at home and it's so light. So I chose to do the Growing Square Infinity Net. You guys could do the triangle one, the any of the other ones I have printed. Um, and it takes you step by step how to do them. If you wanted to just try it on your own and not follow these, that's okay by me as well. Uh, so here I go and I'm going to show you how I do it. One time when I was uh, in LA to see the Spice Girls, uh, <laughs> I picked up these really, really cool Japanese 
crayons. They're like a crayon pencil kind of thing. Um, oh my gosh, they're so cool. And I haven't used them very much at all. So today I'm gonna use them. You guys can use crayons or you could use white pencil crayons as well. Yeah, that, that would work too. So these ones are really cool because they have a nice point to them. And they have their own cute little sharpener and their own cute little eraser. Crazy, I love it. Just thought I'd show you some cool art supplies. 